A passenger van might not be the sexiest vehicle out there. Some would even discriminatively call it a soccer mom car. But I beg to differ and will try to prove to you that the electric MPVs of the new era will be among the best-looking automobiles of tomorrow. So let's explore the freshest newcomers within the class that are already in production as well as some cool-looking models under development. Before we get to the video, subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and ring the bell. We start the motors now. First shown as a concept car in 2017, the production version of the brand's all-electric MPV finally joins the AD family. The AD bus remains loyal to its initial look and boasts retro-inspired Type 2 microbus styling. It has a squarish body, distinctive two-tone paintwork, and very short overhangs front and rear. Other noticeable exterior features include a futuristic front bumper with honeycomb design, an LED light strip between the headlights, and another end-to-end -end LED strip at the rear. Chunky 18-inch alloy wheels come as standard, and there is an option to upgrade to 21-inch rims. The first official footage of the AD bus showcases the short wheelbase fan with five seats. But a bit later, the company will also deliver a longer three-row variant that will be only sold within the US. On the inside, there is everything that you might expect from a modern VW including a standard 10-inch infotainment system and a 5.3-inch digital instrument cluster. The entry-level variants of the AT bus are powered by the rear-mounted electric motor producing 201 horsepower and 229 pound-feet of torque. The powertrain includes a 77 kWh battery pack that is reportedly good for 260 miles on a charge. No doubt that a dual-motor all-wheel drive version will be shown pretty soon, and it's likely to get the familiar ID4 powertrain with 295 ponies. Mercedes-Benz EQT Mercedes is resurrecting its very first EV, the B-Class Electric Drive. This time, the MPV will be sold under the new moniker and with a much higher luxury status. The EQT has a futuristic closed-off grille with a 3D star pattern, all-LED lighting, and fresh 21-inch lightweight alloys. It shares underpinnings with the latest generation of the Renault Kangoo E-Tech. The four will be equipped with a single-motor front-wheel drive and a 45 kWh battery pack. The WLTP testing cycle suggests that the MPV will cover up to 186 miles and will recharge at 50 kW. The ease of access into the cabin is made possible by the sliding rear doors, while the interior comforts are ensured by the white Napa leather seats, gloss trim, and a panoramic glass roof. Of course, the MBUX infotainment with a freestanding screen, voice assistant, and a digital dashboard are here as well. Arrival Car After revealing its cargo van and urban bus models, the UK-US company is now working on an MPV for shuttle and taxi services. Labeled simply as the car, the model is being developed in cooperation with Uber, using suggestions and feedback from the long-time drivers. For now, the company has revealed the first Alpha prototype. It is built on the common modular architecture with an all-electric drivetrain and boxy bodywork. The car's overall footprint is no larger than that of the VW Golf, but it is extremely roomy inside, with a space for up to five passengers and several bags. The driver sits high and forward, which combined with a huge windscreen allows for great visibility. Just as its rear seats, the front passenger seat folds flat and it can slide under the dash. By the way, the latter houses a 13-inch touchscreen with custom software. Canoe Lifestyle Vehicle Scheduled to launch by the end of 2022, the Lifestyle Vehicle will be the first model by the Canoe startup built on the brand's modular skateboard platform. 
Judging by the already revealed footage, the minivan will keep its original bulbous shape, huge windshield offering great visibility, and rear hinged aka suicide doors. Canoe promises several versions of the lifestyle vehicle. Delivery with the two seats and a cargo bay, base with five seats, plus premium and adventure with seven. All of them will get unique wheel designs. The adventure is geared up for the long distance traveling, with a standard light bar, roof rack, and a 2000 pound tow hitch. The drivetrain of this canoe promises up to 350 horsepower, while an 80 kWh battery is good for 250 miles and fast 0 to 80% recharge in under half an hour. The interior of the model is unusual, since instead of the regular rows, the rear houses a huge lounge area. We will need you to smash the like button without any hesitation. You did? Thanks a bunch and let's proceed! Opel Vauxhall Zafira E-Life and Fiat e -Ulisse. Stellantis Group have used their universal electric van platform across all of the lower-budget brands, including Peugeot, Citroën, Opel Vauxhall and Fiat. The latest MPV models to be electrified are the Opel Zafira E-Life and the Fiat e -Ulisse. The newcomers are offered in three sizes and several passenger configurations, seating from 5 to 9 people. In this case, the siblings are powered by a 136 HP motor that enables 80 mph speeds and either a 50 or a 75 kWh battery pack. The smaller one stores enough juice to come for 145 WLTP miles, while the larger promises around 205. These models come standard with a 7.4 kW single-phase onboard charger, can be optioned with a three-phase 11 kW ones and get access to 100 kW DC stations. The cabin of the Zafira E-Life and the Fiat e Ulisse offer leather upholstery, heating and massaging seats, and the latest driver assists enabled by multiple sensors and radars. The available technology features include a 7-inch infotainment, head-up display and a 10-speaker audio. Mercedes-Benz e Vito. The electric version of the famous Mercedes Vito is offered in passenger and cargo configurations that differ a lot in terms of power and range capacity. In 2022, this gap is narrowed with the introduction of the new 66 kWh battery pack for the e Vito panel van. It increases the driving range from 92 to 162 miles and now offers DC fast charging as a paid option. Unchanged is the electric motor that drives the front wheels and produces 116 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. In comparison, the passenger EV Tour relies on a 204 horsepower motor just by a 100 kWh battery pack with 260 miles. Inside, both vans come with a heated driver's seat, 7-inch infotainment and a multi-function steering wheel. The cabin offers 212 cubic feet of cargo space or seats up to 9 people. Renault Kangoo Electric The third-generation Kangoo has already made a public debut in its internal combustion and all-electric cargo versions. But until we wait for the passenger variant, let's revisit the 2019 concept that previews this newcomer. The van offers a much sleeker bodywork, new LED lighting, and fresh wheel designs. Conventional mirrors and door handles are replaced by cameras and smart retractable handles. Plus, the charging port is now hidden behind the Renault badge. We hope that some features of this design will make it to the production Kango passenger, while the drivetrain system is likely to be borrowed from the cargo model. It will consist of a 121 horsepower motor and a 45 kWh battery that promises 186 miles. On the inside, we'll expect a battery-pointed cabin with the Renault's latest infotainment tech. What do you think about the future of the electric passenger vans? Aren't they dope-looking? Let's discuss the best models in the comment section. 
subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, ring the bell and smash the like button. More informative videos are offered on the screen. For anyone willing to support us, we left a pinned comment down below. May the torque be with you and glory to Ukraine!